It's a new wrinkle in the use of Botox. Instead of filling a void in the face, it's now approved to fix a voiding problem, overactive bladder. Well, Botox has been used a long time for spasticity. Uh, there's been indications for uh, muscle rigidity. A neurotoxin, Botox stops chemical transmission to specific nerve endings, causing temporary muscle paralysis. The muscle is called the detrusor muscle. A lot of times the detrusor muscle is out of sync with what the brain is sending toward the bladder. So that will paralyze the muscle that's uh, overactive. When the FDA approved Botox for bladder dysfunction, it aimed for patients who tried and failed with medications. A more invasive approach is given by injection in the doctor's office. There's a scope that's placed into the bladder, males and females both, and then we can anesthetize the muscle of their uh, bladder uh, with a numbing agent. We then inject a very small needle systematically in the muscle of the bladder. Injections wear off over time, but should give patients up to 10 months of relief from racing to the bathroom. We know it's not going to solve their problem. Our hope is to decrease the frequency and urgency and therefore the accidents or leakage. This isn't Botox's first stab at non-cosmetic use. It's also FDA approved for migraine headaches and excessive sweating. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.